Alright, so what's up, y'all? I'm back with another tutorial. I know y'all ain't seen me in like a month of Sundays. I've been busy with school. I'm not even gonna give you no whole excuse or whatever. But, um, this is a new tutorial. This is, um, a TikTok glitter cheer bow tutorial. The back is black, but the red is front. I meant the, right, yeah, red is whatever. Anyway, um, this is a new tutorial. Compared to my other tutorials, this one is really, really detailed. And because of the glitter transfer sheet, I'm not sure if I made it video about using glitter transfer paper i think i did i don't remember but anyway i know i got one i'll give it like a bow but i don't know if i made a tutorial on that anyway i'm back with another one you can skip this intro if you want to because i'm gonna just keep rambling but um anyway it's just, i hope you like it and i hope you learn something and um if you're confused about any of the steps in it just go watch the cheerbo basics video like i usually say in all my videos because that video is the best video on my channel. Well, that's what other people think. But, um... So, yeah. This one is on the more expensive side of making, too. Because the transfer... Okay. I ain't paid for these sheets. But, you know, somebody paid for these sheets. And these sheets was like fourteen ninety nine, And you only get four sheets. Oh, dang. I should have the... Hold on. I'm gonna go get a sheet. Okay, I'm back with the sheets. These are the sheets. They are about this long. They are... Okay. And remind, it doesn't have the... For some reason, it doesn't have the measurements on here. I feel like it's 8.5 by 11, but I don't know. Same, but I got these from, like, Joann's, like, three years ago. Okay, probably not three years ago, but a brick ago. Like, a while ago. Like, for real. But anyway, skip past this intro, because I know you ain't gonna want to watch it. So, um, yeah, just okay, so these are the materials you'll need is 14 fourth inch gross screen red ribbon, the same length black ribbon, a glitter transfer sheet, hot glue gun, hair tie, a measuring tape, rhinestone trim ribbon, scissors, an iron, and heat and bond, hemming tape or needle and thread, and you're gonna need a lighter. So the next step is to get rid of those frays on the end of the cut pieces so you can um, neatly sew them together or, you know, use hemming tape or heat and bond, like iron them together. And so you're going to take your lighter and just singe the ends. I didn't show it in this part of the video, but I'll show it in a later part of the video. When you are done singeing the ends, they should look like this. So then you take it and you put it together, get your piece of heat and bond. This is a piece I had lying around. The easier way to do it is just to measure three inches on the heat and bond. I don't know why I did this, but if you want to do this, you can just measure it uh, with the ribbon and then cut it. Then you're going to take this small piece of um, heat and bond and cut it in half or more likely a third would be easier. And then you're going to take that strip and put it on the black ribbon. Get your iron and an adult if you need one. Set it on, I think I set mine on polyester. Set it on something synthetic but not too hot. Just just make sure it's hot enough so that when you put it on the heat and bond, it'll be okay. Iron this for eight seconds in like circles. And then I just fanned it a little bit to make sure it was cool enough to take the next piece and um, take the strip on top and peel it back so you can see the adhesive. And take your other ribbon and place it on top of the adhesive. Now you wanna be very careful that you do not move the ribbon pieces while you're ironing this part for about 12 seconds or until the, um, both of the fabrics are together. Also using small circles. After the fabric has cooled, you wanna make sure that the ribbons are actually stuck together and they're not moving. And then you're gonna line the ends up because we're about to cut the ends into nice little triangles. And this time you don't have to like necessarily um, iron down to make a crease because you can see the two different colors. I'm going to fold it like that 
And if you're having trouble with this video, just, um, with these steps, just go watch my Cheerio Basics video, like I said in the beginning of the video. But after you cut down those ribbon, you're going to singe the ends, and I'm actually going to show it this time, so yay for fire. Um, I didn't show the other one, because I don't want my the fire to be so close to my phone. Okay, so this part is very important because it is the glitter transfer sheet, and I haven't done a video on this yet. So this sheet has two sides. One side is smooth. This side is the smooth side, and the other side is the glitter side. The smooth side is the adhesive side, and that's the side that should be on top of the ribbon. Okay, so this is where I kind of discovered that I went wrong. So please make sure you watch the video before you attempt the video. You should iron on the transfer sheet onto the ribbon before you cut the ribbon because it makes it easier to cut the ribbon or to line the um, glitter up. But if you did what I did, just do what I'm doing in the video. Is This is the adhesive side. Do not um, draw on the glitter side. This step should be performed on your iron board with the smooth side down on the um, ribbon and the glitter side facing you, you should line it up. And then when you once you have lined it up, take a thin cloth or something and place it over it very carefully so it won't move. And then you're gonna grab your iron on the same setting as before and iron it for like 40 seconds. So once you have ironed the front for 40 seconds, also iron the back for like 10 seconds or 8 seconds ish. And then you're going to make sure that it's um, attached properly on each corner and nothing is lifting up. If it is lifting up, just go back and iron it again and keep testing until it's not lifting up. Once your glitter transfer sheet is on and it's not going anywhere, you want to take your measuring tape and measure the tails to four and a half inches like we usually do in each bow tutorial. For some reason it curls, I don't know why. After I fold it, it won't be like curly anymore, but I don't know why it curls. You So you might have issues with um, measuring the tails. Once you've measured the tails to four and a half inches, just take where the two ribbons meet in the back and then where these two at the tail meet and then fold it in and out and make sure the fold at the top of the bow is folded backwards. Now you're going to get your zip tie and your hair tie and wrap it around the bow like this. Clearly, I'm struggling. But anyway, just wrap it around the bow and then zip it not too tight so you can readjust the bow. And then when it's adjusted the way you want it to be, tighten it as much as you can and then cut off the back of the, or the rest of the zip tie. Now you're going to do the centerpiece and I chose to use this rhinestone trim for the centerpiece but you can use whatever you want. And the easier way to do this is to just measure it to like 3 inches or 3 and a quarter inch. But I did this to make sure it was just enough. I don't want to like waste the um... I don't want to waste any trim because it's not cheap. But anyway, you're going to heat up your hot glue gun in the meantime. And then and then you're just going to glue on the centerpiece. Be careful with this because this is not like solid. It's like holes in it. So when I tried to press it down, it kind of burned my finger. This next part is completely optional, but it is recommended to prevent a floppy bow. You're just going to take like half a sheet of loose leaf paper or some type of paper and stuff it into the ears especially the ear without the glitter then you're going to get your stiff and quick and just 
spray it. Do not spray the glitter. Alright, so I just wanted to come on at the end of the video to like thank y'all for watching my videos and stuff because I don't feel like I come on here enough and say stuff. But anyway, if you don't skip this part of the video, thank you so much for listening to my rant. But anyway, thank y'all for watching my stuff. And I know I switched it up. I have, I have a little sweatshirt on. A little sweatshirt. Because I still wear this. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just want to thank y'all for watching my videos and stuff. I mean, y'all be like so supportive with y'all um, comments. And I don't usually get any mean comments, so y'all really nice. And I'm so glad that I'm here to, like, help y'all if y'all need any help. And I know I ain't been on here in a while, but I'm trying to be on here more often. But I'm trying to get back in that little YouTube thing. But, you know, I'm in school, so it's kind of hard. But anyway, i see y'all in my next tutorial. Hopefully, I drop it before eight months. But, you know, you know how it go. So, I right, deuces.